Hey, 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 everybody, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings, and I'm going to show you what about $3 in LED lights in those rolls is about to do. Stay tuned. First, I got to get some coffee. So welcome back. This is my rolled out strip of LED lights. And I don't have very much to do that most people have not done other than I have mine on a stand. Um, anyway, let me, let me start from the beginning. Simple thing. You buy a roll of LED lights and it comes with an adhesive back that you can just peel out and stick on a sheet of acrylic. This is just a little sheet of acrylic and um, you just peel it out uh, you cut them off at the little contact points there are little contact points here and you cut them and you roll it out stick it down and then on one side you solder in wires to the positive terminals and on the other side to the negative terminals now i have some where i melted the pads like an idiot uh, melted a pad so the good part is any terminal inside will connect and due to just how it works out, you can connect for any terminal. If you really want to, you can make them all wherever you want to make the connections. So anyway, rolled it to a wire that I just, basically it's a bare wire all the way down that connects to another wire at the bottom here and goes to the back. And I got my negative and my positive. I just had some spare wires. So roll it out, solder it in thousands of uh, videos showing the exact details for that but it really is that simple um, I had five meters yeah I had five meters and I was able to make two lights now my coolest part was uh, I did not know how I was going to power these so I took a nine volt and ripped off the top which I'll show you in a couple minutes but just ripped off the top and made my own 9 volt connector that plug it in and it powers my little thing and I'm about to make one for this and we're about to go through that uh, all it takes is a dead 9 volt battery and um, the lithium batteries are actually easier because these are three cells instead of six double A's or triple A's they actually use three lithium cells so they're a little bit easier this doesn't look as bright on this camera because it's auto changing but it is most definitely bright this one's a little bit dimmer per LED but it puts out a crap load of light 9 volts is not really enough to push it but you don't have to worry about overheating and for an accent light it's absolutely perfect um, one thing, I got these from Banggood, so their CRI rating is not great, but I have links for much better versions to Amazon down below. Um, they're much, much better. They're a little bit more white, a pure white. But for me, these are perfect, and these came from Banggood for about $2. Um, so I ended up with two lights for a whopping $2 and some spare parts and spare wire. Here it goes. So I was able to find a lithium 9 volt battery energizer. This one's dead. It came out of my fire alarm, fire, yeah, smoke detector at my one year change. And um, all you have to do is peel this off and you're going to reveal three 3 volt cells instead of uh, six one and a half volt like in the old style. So this is with the lithium ones and they're um, pretty cheap but you actually get a full use out of the battery and then you peel it off so after i learned how to do this figured it out which you know not not really brilliant but figured it out i've actually never thrown away a nine volt battery again i just peel off the top so i can use the connectors and we're going fast forward through this and here we go Ha! 
I just realized um, in my last uh, last little clip, I had my microphone off. So I don't know if uh, I don't know how the dubbing is, was it? But anyway, these are some short little connectors. All I'm going to do is pull this out. Um, I just normally end up snipping these off just to make my life easier. Uh, where's the easiest spot? All right. So yeah, we're just going to snip here. And I'll make sure I don't use any crappy background music because y'all apparently hate that. Um, snip here. All right. The good part about this is you're going to end up with three three volt cells even if you use a live battery and not a dead one. Um, so you can use three volts somewhere, I'm sure. But you end up with little cells like so. Um, little itty bitty things. And hopefully this is in focus. You can see. Yep. Cool. Alright. Round two. Now I'm doing this just to get the connector at the top. So I'm not really caring too much about these battery pieces. And whatever you do, dispose of these properly. I have a Best Buy across the street and they have battery recycling. I also have Batteries Plus. So if you do have to dispose of these please do it responsibly don't toss these in your trash that will end as a bad day for everybody especially you when you have a fire um, the other thing do this all at your own risk hey there's battery finished charging but three all right and last one here like I say I'm just cutting these make sure you don't cut into the cells because that would be a bad day if you pizza on your french fry, it's going to be a bad day. Alright, so now I have three cells, and most importantly, I have my terminals. And all I'm going to do here is cut these off. By the way, I will say these are insanely useful. I'm not sure if you can see them very well. They're just side clippers, but they are so sharp. Um, they're just insanely useful. Yeah, we're going to clean off this other side. Oh, boy. This normally takes a minute when you don't have a camera on, um, but hey, whatever. There we go. And what I end up with is what I wanted. I got a little tab. Now we're going to solder into these two points, and you're going to have to remember this is actually going to be your positive, and that's going to be your negative because it will fit on top of your battery. All right, so what we're going to do is simply uh, pour some solder in here. And one thing I like to do, I love flux paste. Um, this stuff just makes life so much easier. Okay. I always just rub some flux in there. Makes my life easier. And you just wanna put some in here. Right in here. Ignore the flames on my table. There we go. I like to make sure it's warm. And there we go. Alright, now we have to pretend our wires and we can just connect the two. By the way, if I never said it before, never say it again, flux makes your life easy. Sorry for the video. Oh, 
all we have is battery terminal going to our feet. So now to test, we're just going to plug in right here. So connection, light, and light. And that gives a crap load of product light. So if you were to need specific light, there you go. This is the majority of a roll. I had one LED that's out. It was just out. Um, does not make a difference in the light output. And this is lit with two. So for $5 in lighting, you end up with a lot of light. So that's my second. Um, well, it's actually the first one I made. Small amount, but it's great for a little accent light. Larger, great for a little bit more of a fill. And um, these are not really good primary lights because they are not that bright as they are with only nine volts pushing, but you can definitely wire in better power supplies and get better better options. See how this works. Ah, and now I have to solder my deer. But we end up with a little deer. Isn't that cool? Got my little accent light. This camera, oh, I do have zoom. All right, so yeah. And there we go. Got a little deer, got some accent, and all that for a few dollars in spare parts, a couple extra 9 volt batteries, and a dollar or three dollars for my LEDs. Just a whole wide strip. And anyway, hope you all have a good one. If you like this, give me a comment down below, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'll try, um, I'm trying to get a little bit better at this video thing, and like I say, I'm kind of moving, upgrading my equipment right now, so, yeah. Hope you all have a good one, take care, have a Merry Christmas, I hope you did, or a Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, we're all good here, and y'all take care, talk to you soon. So I'm wiring up all of these to ground. Uh, they're negative, negative to a roll or a rod. And I found out something cool. If you put your thumb over the resistor and apply heat, it lights up. Does anyone know why that would happen? I just have my thumb. There's a resistor on this tape. Put my thumb over it, apply heat. No thumb, nothing. Apply heat, and it lights. Isn't that cool? Uh, I have no idea why, though. So... There's a little resistor, and I can actually test which ones are working correctly by applying heat and my thumb over the resistor. If I don't get a light, it's not working right. Or the connection's not as good. That is really cool. Um, why would that do that? Yeah, there we go. All right. So as I'm going through, I'm applying heat and getting a tiny bit of light just to make sure the connection's good. But it's apply heat, thumb on the resistor. I have no idea why that works, but that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to continue uh, just putting ground on this side. On the other side, I'm going to put positives on, and then we're going to hook up a 9-volt and have a bright light. So, thanks.